What you see on your screen is a baked potato that I cooked in my microwave in about six minutes. And nope, your eyes do not deceive you. That is salt crusted skin. And I'm going to show you how to make a baked potato in your microwave just like this. Coming up. Before you can appreciate how to cook a baked potato in a microwave, you need to understand a couple of things. And the first thing is that microwaves do not cook from the inside out. Without going into a lot of details, you should understand that the microwave radio wave is causing the molecules within a half inch of the surface of the potato to vibrate. The vibration causes friction and that's actually what heats up anything in your microwave. You might be asking, why is this important? Well, if you don't take precautions to keep the outside of the potato hydrated, it's going to get dry and wrinkly and unappealing. The way to solve that problem is to use a large bowl, put your potato in, and then cover it with a plate. The plate holds the moisture in the bowl around the potato while it's cooking, and if it gets too much pressure, it'll simply lift the plate up and burp. And of course, some folks are going to be asking, why not just use plastic wrap? Well, I'm pretty sure that that plastic wrap is not intended to be heated, especially at the temperatures around a baked potato. Okay, now that you know how a baked potato actually cooks in a microwave, it's important to pick the right size potato. If you choose a potato that's too big, it will be raw on the inside and overcooked on the outside. The best size potato for cooking in a microwave is a medium sized potato. Once you have your potato picked out, take it over to the sink and scrub it clean. Next you want to take a small knife and slice two openings, one on each end of the potato. You do not need to attack the potato with a fork. Too many holes in the potato releases too much moisture and that's what we're trying to avoid. The two little slices on the end of the potato will release just the right amount of moisture. Next you want to lather the potato up with butter. We are not going to add salt to the potato at this time. Once the potato is all lathered up with butter, drop it in the bowl and wash your hands. Next put a microwave safe plate on top of the bowl and put it in the microwave. At this point, you're probably wondering how much time to put on the control. Well, believe it or not, it doesn't matter. Wait, wait, hold that thought. This could happen if you put too much time on the control, like 44 minutes instead of 4 minutes. Well, I recommend that you start off with 3 minutes, but we're not cooking our baked potato based on time. We're cooking it based on temperature. We're going to use this dude here that tells us the exact internal temperature of our potato. We're going to insert the probe into the center of the potato and we're looking for about 190 degrees because we want to add some salt and put it back in the microwave and then check it for our final temperature. On your screen now is the newer, less expensive version of the temperature tester that we're using. And for those of you who want to get one of these dudes, We'll put an Amazon affiliate link in the video description. Before we put the potato back in the microwave to finish cooking, we want to add a very liberal amount of kosher salt. This is definitely not the time to be stingy. Flip the potato over and add some salt to the underside. Then put your plate back on and put it back in the microwave. The time you put on the control this time depends on the power of your microwave and the size of the potato. Until you figure your microwave out, I would recommend you use only two minutes. If you have a real powerful microwave, you may want to only set it for one minute. If you want to make sure that your baked potato from your microwave is not overcooked, make sure that the temperature is as close to 210 degrees as possible. If you are cooking a medium sized potato, it will be fully cooked at that point. Now let's go ahead and slice this open and have a peek inside. 
that may be too much salt for some folks, you can simply brush it off if you want. The butter and the salt on the outside of the baked potato really does bump up the flavor. Next, let's add some butter, some cheddar cheese, and put it back in the microwave for about 25 seconds to melt the cheese. And since you can't have too much cheese, let's put a little more on and have a close-up look at this microwave baked potato. Well, there you go, folks. Now you know how to make perfect microwave baked potatoes. And if you think we did a good job on this video, a thumbs up would certainly be appreciated. Thank you very much. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, well, I recommend you subscribe. Thanks for watching.